Elokinzi 16-inch teleprompter. Now that is a big box. Let's get it open. Oh. Sorry if I sound a little bit nasally. I've got the Rona. That's why I'm doing this during the day because I'm not going to work. Anyway, let's let's get it all open. Whoop. Okay. Yeah. Comes in a very nice carry case. Try and unzip that. Boom! Illokinzi. 16 inch teleprompter. That comes from a German Amazon, therefore, yeah, that is a German manual. I will check that out later. Comes with a remote and plastic mount of some sorts. And this is the glass. Does not seem to be damaged in any way, so that's good. How does this open? Ah, there we go. Whoop! And this is the cover, or how do you call it? This is the biggest box that I've unboxed on my channel. So bear with me while I navigate everything. Has Velcro all around, so it. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> there we go. So this right here is not stuck on properly. So I think there will be some problems with this. Velcro, it does not seem to be stuck on properly. It is not too heavy. Let me quickly get the scales so I can weigh this thing. Here are the kitchen scales. Let's turn them on. Let's put this bad boy on the scales. My camera rig already weighs four and a half kilos, so this will overload my tripod. But if I don't move it, maybe it'll be fine. The glorified peel. Okay, it wasn't that satisfying, actually. Let's try and set it up. Oh boy, this is very big. I don't even know how to begin to film this, so I have my wife holding the camera. Hopefully it's not too shaky. And now let's try and put an Arca Swiss play. Ah, shit. It does not want to fit. So I've ended up cannibalizing my shoulder rig for some. Uh, 15 millimeter plate for the height so that I can rotate this uh, little thingy here. So let's try and mount that. And now the only thing that's left is to mount the main camera. So let's try and do that. Okay, change of scenery because this thing is pretty huge. So it's time to put my camera onto the thing here. There we go, and now it's time for the cover that was conveniently placed on my head somehow. So let's slide this out and let's try to put an iPad on there. Uh, okay, I think the camera is too high on this. Holy moly, with light shining on this glass, this is not the cleanest glass in the world. One moment, please, while I try and figure this out. 
After cannibalizing my camera rig, the teleprompter is finally mounted on the tripod. However, there is no text running on it because I don't have an app yet. So let's try and download an app that supposedly is for this teleprompter. And let's try the App Store. I am usually very wary of downloading random Chinese apps on my devices, but just for the sake of this video, I will download this and I will probably replace it with some sort of a more professional teleprompter application. Let's try and open it. Okay. Um, Okay, right off the bat, it is fixed to this orientation. Let's open their remote. That is a very light remote. Oh, oh God. Oh, that feels like a cheap plastic toy. If you ever had very cheap toys as a kid, this is what it feels like. Okay, so it takes a two AAA batteries. Let's get some batteries first. Okay, so here I have my rechargeable batteries from Yusk. And let's put them in. Let's go to Bluetooth. Ah, there we go. Teleprompter. Connect. And uh, would like to pair. Here. Save. New script. Okay. I uh, would like to use Bluetooth. Okay. Now, how do I... Ah, okay. So, if you press that button... I guess it changes the orientation, and this is what I prefer. <sighs> Mirror. How do we font size? Let's make it quite big. Font color. Let's try a blue background with white text, because that's what I've seen most people do this. Um, Okay, so this increases speed. But apparently it also works as a sound adjustment. And this is scrolling. Okay, I don't know. Let's let's try it out. Let's try and put this in front of the camera and see if anything changes. is actually pretty nice. What is the verdict after spending a couple of minutes with Illo Kinsey 16 inch teleprompter? There are some rough edges, literally. Even though the construction is metal, it does not feel very solid or confidence inspiring. The teleprompter is not as flexible as I wanted it to be. The camera needs to be mounted very close to the frame, which means that I won't be able to use a 15mm rod blade. I have a V-mount battery on 15mm rails, which means that I will have to buy an additional V-mount plate just for the teleprompter. I like quick setup, uh, so I'll need to get myself another small rig quick release clamp and at around 70 euros a pop, they are pretty damn expensive. That's more than 100 euros of additional expenses just because the mounting height is not adjustable. But if you don't have your camera rigged like I do, you should be just fine. 
The adhesive quality on the Velcros around the beam splitter is atrocious, and they keep peeling off every time I'm trying to disassemble the teleprompter, so I have to squeeze my finger in between those Velcro strips just to keep them in place. I had some proper 3M double-sided tape lying around, maybe that'll fix the problem. Anyway, the remote uh, feels like a cheap toy, very hollow and light, but that is to be expected at this price point. It does, however, feel quite nice in the hand. And for some reason, it uh, sometimes just stops or plays the text in the teleprompter for no reason, so I don't know what's up with that. Can you shake it or something? Nah, anyway. The glass, or beam splitter, as cool kids in the industry call it, seems to be all right after giving it a wipe. I do like that the teleprompter comes with a carry case. I'm not the fan of that foam, though. And lastly, the app, it is surprisingly okay. I hate that the editing is orientation locked in portrait mode, so using it with a magic keyboard is impossible, but I guess no one writes their scripts inside a teleprompter app anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The orientation, however, can be changed in the teleprompter mode by tapping a button, and the app also nicely integrates with the remote that it comes with. Will I be using the app? The answer is most likely no. Even though it is pretty usable, I have a tendency not to trust free Chinese apps, and I'd much rather pay for a legit app from a reputable vendor. If you know any good uh, teleprompter apps for the iPad that are not subscription-based, uh, please let me know in the comments. In summary, do I recommend the Elo Kinsey 16-inch teleprompter? Well, maybe. I don't have anything uh, to compare it to, and it seems to be a little bit too expensive for what you get for 170 euros. But if you have the money to spare, I'd go for something more expensive. Hey, if you've watched all the way to the end, consider subscribing for more similar content. I'll be unboxing more stuff soon, but I also have other types of videos on my channel, so I invite you to check it out. Also, please don't forget to like this video, it really helps keep my spirits up while I am sick. And uh, if you have any questions or constructive criticism, definitely leave a comment down below. I love engaging with my viewers. And with that said, I'll see you in another video.